Hello friends of Made Away. We just set off for our canoe camping trip. The conditions are so nice out here. The lake looks quite flat. There's definitely a haze from the Canadian wildfires, which is a bummer, um, but it's gorgeous. We're working with Sea to Summit this summer to promote their Big River dry bags which truly are so awesome. It's the same style dry bag that we've been using for years, but it has backpack straps and a waist strap. So it makes it really easy for portaging and just carrying gear. Um, so we'll definitely share some of that. And we've got a bunch of um, other little tangential videos that we are going to make on this trip. So we're super excited to dive into just different styles of YouTube videos. So really hope you enjoy but this one is going to be sort of more vlog style. So we'll take you with us through a night under the stars on a lake in Maine. Enjoy. We are arriving to our island tonight for the night. Um, the water is so comfortable so basically just gonna like pull up secure the boat jump in cool down and then like unload and do other things that sound like a good plan so need some swim dang that was a nice 45 minute paddle not too long two and a half miles is a real luxury. So that's that. Super easy to set this one up. Um, we're gonna leave the fly off for now because it's absolutely gorgeous out and might even sleep with a fly off, which is my personal favorite. Um, we're under a tree where it's set up now. Might move it depending on how we're feeling, but I love like stargazing through the tent. Um, but if we do sleep with it off, then I tend to just like clip two of the sides to the tent. So should a freak rainstorm come in during the night, we can flip the fly on and try and stay dry. It's definitely happened before. So, um, that was it. I'm gonna throw it. my sleeping bag fluff up. This is down. It says 180% or 180 plus loft down. So super, super warm and gets really, really fluffy, but also packs down really small. And then the pillow. I mean, even at the end of a long, long day, you still have two breaths left for a comfortable night's sleep. Absolutely lovely evening. Gonna put out some chips and salsa. Homestyle Mexican salsa, La Costeña. Wanna try it? We have set up camp, like you've probably seen in the video already, and filmed a bunch of other cute little clips that we're really excited to share. Um, in sort of a different short form style. This thing here from Sea to Summit, truly, this was even before we were working with them, but this is like the best camping um, situation. Should I use the cup or the bowl? Bowl, cup, cup, cup. cup. And we're just gonna like enjoy this evening. The days are so long now and we're gonna cook over the open fire. So um, probably gonna get the fire going soon, but like, 
what's the rush? You know what I mean? Salsa service. Yum. Thank you. You gonna drink it out of the cup? Can we get a can we get a moment of silence for this view? So time to get a little fire going for dinner. The folks who were here before us cut up a bunch of seemingly dry dead wood. Got lots to work with. I'm gonna use these two nice flat pieces. Just create a little base down here that then I can get the fire going on top of. I always find that's helpful, especially the day or so after it's rained. Then we've got some birch bark. Cut the lighter. Time to prep dinner. This is our little backcountry kitchen set. We will link everything that we use that I can find links to in the description. So if you're ever like, hmm, what's that? Either check there or let us know. For dinner tonight, we are making steak tacos which feels a little elevated for us out here in the backcountry. I did marinate the chick or the steak. One thing to note is I have this like funny job that it's not on my resume because it's not something I oh, identify with, but selling them knives. And the most dangerous thing in the kitchen is a dull knife. And that especially applies to backcountry cooking and if you injure yourself in the backcountry it's much harder to get first aid. I mean we bring a first aid kit with us but definitely want to make sure that your camping knives are sharpened so here's your little reminder go do that now. Chopping up some papuanos. These are our peppers and onions. Squirt, squirt, squirt. Shake, shake, shake. All right, time to put the peppers and onions on. Great. Now we'll get some butter in here and then the steak gets cooked. Let's get those on. I think it's looking pretty good. Been in it since we have a hot side and a less hot side. Okay, we'll start by cutting into our small half here. When you're cutting the steak, you've always got to sneak a little taste test. Mmm, that's really good. So we got our steak, grilled peppers and onions, warmed tortillas, don't worry. Put those over the grill. Sour cream, lime, avocado, cilantro, cheese, salsa. There's more here. These avocado are al dente, I'll say and a squeeze of lime. Here we have our uncurled taco. Also, again, a moment for this view. Like, love it out here. Mmm. Really, really good. Excited for you to try by. Ready, Cam? Nope. Here goes nothing. That's an A-plus meal, even if you're not in the backcountry. But out here, it really hits the spot. Figured I would just say goodnight for the evening. We are just hanging by the fire, looking out on the most beautiful still lake. Um, we also are low on battery, which is a bummer because I tried to get everything charged up. Um, we have another, but I want to save that for tomorrow's content. So I'll say goodnight. We'll check in tomorrow. Good morning from what? the wettest place on earth. Um, we 
slept most of the night with the tent fly off, but then it started to rain this morning and it hasn't stopped. It's almost eight. We're kind of trying to like wait it out, but I also feel like it's probably just gonna be a wet day. Thank <laughs> you. 